5 x square plus 2 x minus 4 divided by x minus 2 gives the quotient as 5 x plus 12 and leaves a remainder of 20. You can divide it and verify that will get the quotient as 5 x plus 12 and remainder as 20. Now we have already learned this identity. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So let us denote our dividend as Px. So we can write Px is equal to divisor which is x minus 2, quotient which is 5x plus 12 plus remainder which is 20. Now let us substitute x is equal to 2. Why 2? Because 2 is a magical number here. And why is 2 a magical number here? We'll soon see. For now, substitute x is equal to 2. So we get p2 is equal to 2 minus 2 into 5 into 2 plus 12 plus 20. This is what we have. So we have p2 is equal to 2 minus 2 into 5 into 2 plus 12 plus 20. We have substituted 2 in place of x on both the sides. Now 2 minus 2 is 0. So we get 0 into 5 into 2 plus 12 plus 20. Now 0 into this entire thing. So 0 into anything is 0. So we get 0 plus 20. Or we can say we get 20. So P2 gives us 20 which is the remainder of this division. Now note a few things. We have a linear divisor here which is x minus 2. When we substitute 2 in place of x, this part becomes 0 because it is x minus 2. So if we substitute x is equal to 2, it becomes 2 minus 2. Hence it becomes 0. 0 into anything is 0. So this entire part becomes 0. And we are left with only remainder. And that is what we get at the end. So P2 gives us the remainder of this division. So if we divide a polynomial by x minus 2, P2 gives us the remainder of that division. Let us generalize this. So if we have a polynomial Px and we divide it by a linear divisor x minus a. Say we get the quotient as a polynomial of x which is Qx and the remainder is r. Now we need to substitute x is equal to a. So the left hand side will become pa. Now can you find pa? What will be the value of pa? So we need to substitute x is equal to a. So pa is equal to a minus a because we have x here. So, so we substitute x is equal to a, a minus a into q instead of x we write a, qa plus r. This is what we have, pa is equal to a minus a into qa plus r. Now this a minus a is 0, so we have 0 into qa plus r. A minus a is 0. So 0 into qa plus r. Now 0 into anything is 0. So this is 0 plus r which is equal to r. So we get pa is equal to r. So in general if we divide a polynomial by a linear divisor x minus a then pa gives us the remainder of the division. Why? 
because if we substitute x is equal to a then x minus a becomes a minus a this entire part becomes zero because zero into anything is zero so this entire part becomes zero and we are left with only remainder so pa is equal to r that is pa gives us the value of the remainder and this is the remainder theorem so if we divide a polynomial px by x minus a then remainder is equal to pa that is the value of this polynomial at x equal to a is the remainder of this division so now you can calculate the remainder even without dividing so if we have to calculate the remainder of a division without dividing using the remainder theorem you can calculate the remainder so can you find the remainder of this division x cube plus 3 x square minus x plus 5 divided by x plus 3 now when px is divided by x minus a when we have px divided by x minus a if we put x minus a equal to 0 we get x equal to a so in order to calculate the remainder we have to evaluate px at a that is we have to get pa from px so when x minus a is the divisor we put x minus a equal to 0 get x equal to a and px instead of px we calculate pa to get the remainder in this case the divisor is x plus 3 so we put x plus 3 is equal to 0 so we compare x minus a to x plus 3 we put x plus 3 is equal to 0 what will be the value of x x equal to negative 3 x plus 3 equal to 0 so transposing 3 on the right hand side we get x is equal to negative 3 so x is equal to negative 3 so what do we need to find from px from px we need to find p negative 3 in order to calculate the remainder so this is what we have now what is px px is equal to x cube plus 3x square minus x plus 5 calculate p negative 3 from this px that is substitute negative 3 in place of x in this polynomial so this becomes x cube is negative 3 cube plus 3 x square is 3 into negative 3 whole square minus x is minus of negative 3 plus 5 this is what we have so we can solve it to get negative 3 whole cube is negative 27 negative 3 whole square is 9 9 into 3 is 27 minus of negative 3 gives plus 3 plus 5 so negative 27 plus 27 get cancelled we have 3 plus 5 which gives 8 so the remainder is equal to 8 so the remainder of this division is 8 now you can divide it by long division method and verify that you'll get the remainder as 8 so now using the remainder theorem even without dividing we have got the remainder of this division now what is the remainder when this polynomial is divided by 2y minus 1 so it is divided by 2y minus 1 so now we need to find the value of y at which we have to evaluate this so how do we find it 
we put 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 and calculate the value of y this gives us y is equal to half solving this linear equation because 2y is equal to 1 so y is equal to half this gives us y is equal to half so we need to calculate py at half that is we need to calculate p half this is what we have now py here is 10y square minus 7y plus 4 this is py but we need to find p half that is we need to substitute 1 by 2 in place of y so we have 10 instead of y square I will write 1 by 2 whole square minus 7y becomes 7 into 1 by 2 plus 4 we have plus 4 here we write plus 4 so this is 10 by 4 this is minus 7 by 2 plus 4 now 10 by 4 is 5 by 2 5 by 2 minus 7 by 2 is minus 2 by 2 now minus 2 by 2 is negative 1 plus 4 we have plus 4 here so we write plus 4 now negative 1 plus 4 is equal to 3 so we get p 1 by 2 is equal to 3 and this is the remainder of this division so we get remainder is equal to 3 once again you can divide it and verify that you get the remainder as 3 now remainder theorem holds only for linear divisors that is it holds only for divisors with degree 1 it does not hold for divisors with degree more than 1 or for constant divisors now can you answer this question when px is divided by x minus a the remainder will always be constant is it true or false now px is a polynomial in one variable x when it is divided by x minus a so x minus a is a linear divisor with degree 1 we know that the degree of remainder is less than the degree of divisor so the degree of remainder will be less than 1 that is the degree of remainder will be 0 degree of remainder will be 0 what does it mean that the remainder will be constant because only constants have degree 0 so this statement is true that when a polynomial is divided by a linear divisor of the form x minus a the remainder will be constant and since the remainder theorem holds only for linear divisors will always get a constant remainder if we apply remainder theorem.